It's now time for Ryan's Roses. Let's grab Naomi here. So Naomi says, and I'm going to read this again, but Naomi says, I, I was, I go to the gym. I'm out for an exercise. On my way back, I see my coworker driving away from my street. We live in a cul-de-sac, just a few other houses. So I texted her and asked her what she was doing. She said she wasn't there. Hmm. I asked my husband if my coworker was here, and he said no, but he looked stressed and he looked agitated. No reason for her to have been on my street. No reason whatsoever. Naomi, thank you for coming on. It uh, sounds like she's lying to you. Yeah, I um, I'm really concerned about this one because it just doesn't make sense. I mean, the last time they would have ever seen each other was at a Christmas party like two years ago. I don't, I don't know why Marie would be having an affair with my husband. Well, you know, okay, so her name is doing. Marie. All right, no, wait. The last time she would have seen your husband would have been two years ago or seen you? No. So, I mean, I was trying to put it together, like, when would Marie ever be with my husband? And they, I don't think they've ever met, but I, I thought about it. And, like, two years ago, there was a Christmas party, and they may have seen each other at that. But they don't have any exchanges at their work other than the party? No, no. My husband doesn't work with me. I work with Marie. She's my oh, you work with her. Okay, mm-hmm. got it. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. And you're sure it was her? Yes. Uh, I am 101% that it was her. I mean, she's like a very distinct face. Let me ask you something, Naomi. I'm guessing you're pretty good at reading people. I don't know what line of work you're in. I don't know how often you see her, but you see her. Yeah. So what is your vibe of this woman? Do you think she is backstabbing, malicious? Do you think that, I mean, do you get a negative energy from her? Um, I didn't think about it up until now, but, uh, but I, I mean, she's very to herself and uh, a little pretty, but I, I, I guess I could see there's yeah, definitely a part of her that could be backstabbing. And I, so I see you it think now. she's capable, what I'm getting at is you think she's capable of doing this something to you. Yes, I do, actually. Okay, wow. so, and your husband, he just, he was being shifty? Yes, absolutely. I, I went in there, and it was just like, he, I, I mean, you can tell your significant other how they're how they're acting. You just get the vibe, and, and he was, like, very, very stressed out and, you know, um, not focused at all. Um, and, and I could see that he was lying. All right, well, hang on one sec. We are going to call him, but, sis, you got to be real confident mm-hmm. if you think you can fit that in. When your wife goes for a workout. Yeah. I mean, how long is the average workout? Unless they've been doing this for a while and they're super comfortable with each other. But still, so messed I up. mean, that, that just like, what if she forgot something? What if she didn't, what if she had to, the treadmill, there was a line. Yeah. Ugh. All right, let's come back and make the call here with uh, Naomi and her husband. So it's Ryan's Roses. Uh, Naomi's telling us she lives on a cul-de-sac. She said, I saw this coworker of hers leaving her street. Only a couple houses on the street. She thought, that's weird. That seems like my coworker was at the house while my husband was home. I asked my coworker about it. She denied she was there. I asked my husband about it. And he was like acting shifty and agitated and nervous, mm-hmm. but said, no, I don't anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Naomi, how long have you been married? Us? We've been married for two years. How long is your workout? Um, Like an hour. How long is how far is the gym? 30 minutes. So so I jog there for 30 minutes. I do like, you know, arm workout, you know, all the, the, the you know, weight bearing stuff. And then I run back home. So I get my cardio in for an hour. You must be in great shape. That's big time. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, you know, it clears my head and keeps me focused for my job and everything. What do you do for work? I'm a real estate agent. All right, well, here's what we're going to do, Naomi. We're just going to call your husband, and you're going to hear it. We're going to be on the air. So he's going to offer him some roses. We want to find out who he sends them to, what he puts on the card, and who, whoever it is, what that person is to him, okay? Okay. So that's the simple it's going to be. Just stay quiet until you hear us come in and get permission from him and let him know that he's on the air and being broadcast. Now, Sissini is going to do it. Naomi, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then whatever his yeah. name is on KISS FM. Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. Now, remember, her name, the co-worker's name, is Marie. Mm-hmm. All right, good luck. Thank you. Hello? Hi, is this Eddie? Yes. Hi, Eddie. My name is Sonia. I'm calling from Yaya's Flowers. We're a local flower shop here in Cerritos. How are you doing this morning? Good. 
How are you? Hi, I'm calling because we're trying to promote our delivery service. So we're giving out a free dozen red roses. Um, like I said, they're absolutely free. I don't need any credit card information from you. Uh, just the name you want of the person you want to send them to, and we can even put a, qu- a quick little note on there. Oh, that's really sweet. Thank you. Um, how about um, how about Naomi? That's my wife, Naomi. and. Okay. Uh, your wife. Just send a happy you write? early Valentine's Day. Love it. Happy early Valentine's Day. Yeah. Okay, cute. Nice. Oh, oh. Hey, Eddie, my name is Ryan Seacrest. I need you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio now. We've got your lovely Valentine, Naomi, on the line. How are you, Hi. Eddie? I'm <laughs> great. How are you? Good, buddy. Thank you for taking a second to stay on with us here. Um, so Naomi yeah. asked us to call you because she thinks you're cheating on her. Hi. Yes, I am. Um... I still think that that thing with Marie was a real thing because you were so nervous, and I could definitely tell. And I, I, I don't understand why you would send me the roses because obviously you're doing something with this woman, and I just don't uh, get it. Um, so, well, hold on. So, wait, what? Wait, what's going on? Well, Eddie, her coworker Marie was leaving your cul-de-sac. And so your wife thinks she was with you while your wife was at the gym. And even more, she thinks that maybe you're cheating on her with Marie because you lied about it when she asked you I about it. I saw her driving off. I saw her driving off. This is all absolutely insane. Are you cheating on your wife? Yes. Of course not. He definitely did. He definitely did. I'm telling you. Well, I what, came home early because my knee was hurting from my workout. So I definitely came back early, and I caught them. Was Marie at your house, Eddie? No. Do you know not. Marie? Yes, I do know. When Marie. was the last time you saw Marie? Um, I don't remember. So Eddie, let, let, let's again, and I ask you again. Were you yeah. were you were you with Marie on that day when your wife saw Marie leave your home? Of course not. So Marie was just dead in the street. Uh, I'm driving away. Possible. She's just there in the cul-de-sac hanging out. I mean, possible. How do you even know it's her? I definitely know her face, and I saw her. All right. Okay. Is there um, anything else I you want to say? I saw her driving away. I mean, how do you know? Okay. Well, how do you know that there's not another person in the world that drives a great Prius? I never mentioned that she drove a great Prius. That's what how do you know yeah, she how drives do you know a what kind Prius? of car she drives? There, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Eddie, come on. You you know what kind of car she drives? Yet yeah, we're told you've only I seen her at the holiday party. I, I mean, Eddie, come on. Eddie, just come clean. What's the deal, dude? I'm sorry. This this uh all right. This all, right. all just came across to me way too fast here. Um yeah. Okay. I'm back sorry. Pedal, I'm not pedal, cheating pedal, on pedal. anybody. Okay, Wait, Eddie. I mean, all right. I got right. what I needed, guys. All right, Naomi. Good luck. I mean, this is crazy. Thank you guys so much. Yep. Yep. Bye. Thank you. You know what's going on there? I think he knew it was us. Yeah. He didn't know it was I us. I think he did. He was so quick to accept, and he didn't really sound surprised or, mm-hmm. like, fight me on why it. Like he, he, why wouldn't he hang up then? Because I think he was trying to send the flowers to his wife to make it look like he's not cheating. Mm-hmm. But if so, if he only saw her at the holiday party once or twice or a couple years ago, and two years ago, by the way, and he knows she drives a gray Prius, there's I think we have a problem.